Hello, fellow YouTubers, and welcome to part 23 of the Leaf Crane Now Sock. And this part, uh, everybody's actually at 46. In this part, we're basically going to challenge Giovanni, and we're going to win because we always win. That's what we do. And after we win, pretty much the goal is get to the victory road and hopefully start a bit of it this will pretty much be the week of getting to the elite four so, yeah I know this week's gonna suck I know but it has to be done I hate victory road always have never will like one but that's the goal get to victory road finish some of it and then hopefully next part we can finish it and that would mean next week we'll finally catch the legendaries. And I know on last Tuesday's part, I kept saying over and over again about how we were going to catch Maltrace in that part. So I do apologize for not catching Maltrace in that part. But there really... I don't want to say there wasn't much we could do. But I really just didn't feel like catching Maltrace in that part. And then when we got taken off the island, I was like, screw it. So what we'll do is we'll get to Victory Road with the extra training. And then we'll go catch legendaries because we're also going to try to catch a seal because as I'll put his name up, but they suggested catching a seal. And I was thinking and I'm like, that's a really good idea. Being as we don't need waterfall. And with any luck, it will have an ice move. And that's what we really need right now, is an ice move. I figure that'll pretty much take out the challenge of Koga. Why do I keep saying that? Of Lance. Lance. Vance. Dance. I don't know how well Surf's gonna do against his mod choke, but... I don't even know why I have Kingdra in the lead. Being as we've seen three different typings so far, and none of them have been ground. I guess the idea was just to have strong trainers in here. I don't know. But regardless, the whole gym's going down. So. Because there ain't no stopping me. No. We'll put kick asses in front. I'll put Kingdra in at the end. Being as Kingdra really doesn't need the gym to be trained. Oh man, I didn't see you there. There's three trainers just sitting there lined up. And I don't think there's anything waiting there. Of course, now we've run into our first ground type Pokemon, of course. But Hyper Fang should be able to take care of it. And one or two hits, so. Apparently three. Yeah. It happens. What can you do? See, they're not that strong. Oh, he's healing. Super potion. Another. We use strength this time to save some PP, but. Yeah, we should be fine. I don't know if the sound recorder is picking up the Pokemon music. Now it won't. <laughs> but yeah. I know the last two videos didn't have audio. When, when I open the emulator, I realize that for some stupid reason I put it on mute. Which, again, stupid reason, but I was probably training and didn't want any audio. I think I was listening to music, and I was training, and I never have the audio on when I'm recording anyway. Being as if I did it would overtake me in the audio. So, well, it wouldn't really overtake me. The, the crisis is more the fact that it separates a little bit. Like even right now, it's only running at 98%. It fluctuates from like 98 to 100. So in the course of a 30 minute video, typically the audio falls out of sync. And that's why if you haven't noticed, I don't talk that much about the gameplay usually. Because if I try to, I have to sit there and sync everything back up. Plus, it would kind of be boring if I was talking everything about the gameplay. 
I don't know. I, 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 I can't make playing Pokemon that exciting. But... I can try. But yeah. So that's why I don't have the audio on usually. And then I just... I forget to check. So, my bad. Hopefully this Surf can kill him. Because I know Giovanni... Ugh, that Gritticoid doesn't help. Because I know Giovanni has a Nido King, and I think he has a Nido Queen as well. So I don't know how strong I'm. I really am. Oh crap! I should. <laughs> Antidote's all the way at the top. I've never organized these items really isn't like me at all. So there's nothing down there, but I, I guess I'm required to go down that way. I must be running out of steam by now. You're the first trainer in the gym. Like, I mean, I know I went out of order, but logically you walk in, he's the first trainer you see. That's... No, oh, I'm exhausted. I mean, it was hard work walking through that door. I don't know how I did it, but you know, I found out, I found a way, some way. And Kick-Ass is officially level 47, and I think the level I want everybody to be at before I battle the Elite Four is 55. I feel like that's not over-leveled. It'll probably be under-leveled, because I keep looking, because really, I don't want to say the rival is the scary part because it's more Lance, but, I don't know, I keep looking at Lance's Pokemon, right? And he's at 54 for like half of his Pokemon, and then he has some that are 56, and I think his final Dragonite's 60. So I really, I don't want to run the risk. I feel like 55 wouldn't be too high. I feel like nobody could really complain about me being at 55. And really, that wouldn't be as much grinding for me anyway. Because I could, of course, grind all the way to, like, level 60. But that wouldn't be fun for me. It wouldn't be fun for the viewers. It wouldn't be fun for anybody. Yeah. Because Onyx is weak against ground moves. Marowak. I was trying to keep Kingdra out of this, but... Maybe by the end of this video, everybody will be level 47. I can dream. That'll be less training later on. I really don't know if I'm going to have time to even start Victory Road. This might be like a 40 minute video, just so I can walk there. And that really sucks. Because that means next video will be like 40 minutes also. Because I'd have to... I'd have to finish it, there's there's just no other way around it. It has to get done. That's gonna really suck. But yeah, this grappler, he, he can't stop me. No one can stop me. But yeah, so I think that means Kingdra is gonna be a temporary mo member of the party. Because I do like the idea of having a seal. So I'll probably catch seal on the episode when I get... Zapdos and Articuno, and then with any luck, sorry, I keep hearing people walk downstairs, and I'm like, why are you walking so heavy? It seems like they're walking up the stairs, but who knows? Let's see, more fighting types, but um, I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, Seal. Well, Seal would take care of the ice type thing. Because I was mentioning that we had nothing to be dragons with. Because we don't even have electric types. So we are kind of at a disadvantage against Lance. But only him, really. Even morally, we, I don't think we're going to do too well against. But. Of course he survived. 
Revenge. That wasn't that bad. I was expecting death. Don't want to die here. Again, Billy Gal can die, though. I wonder if the recording is picking up how heavy that person's walking. Because it, they are walking really heavy. And I don't know why. A Rhyhorn. Well, I feel like Rhyhorn would have a move to beat me. We'll send Meat Eater out there. But yeah, I'll... Yeah, Rock Blast. Oh my god. I didn't know Rhyhorn was two crits in a row. That was not good. But... Oh. If I have 25 subs by the end of July, I will upload a video of me rapping. I don't know why I keep phrasing it like that. What I mean is I will release a rap song. And by that, I mean... I guess it'd be more a music video for a rap song that I've created. I, I guess that's the best way to explain it. Now, I'm really not that concerned about this Marowak. We're gonna use Flamethrower. Hopefully we can kill it. I don't think he'll be able to kill us, though. Or he'll do something stupid like use Leer. Yes, of course. But yeah, the goal for this week is basically to get them Victory Road. Next week's goal will be catch Legendaries. And then the week after that, we'll begin... Oh my god. That's not good. Or whatever, we can kill it. But the week after that's goal will pretty much be the Sevi Islands. And then after that... It should be to complete... Well, I guess it'd be complete the Sevi Islands. And then catch Mewtwo. So. The ending of this Nuzlocke is fast approaching. I don't know whether we're gonna lose or not, but I don't I don't think we are. The only real concern is the Elite Four the second time. But even if we lose then, really we didn't have to continue. So considering the ending of the game pretty much is when you become champion have to become champion twice, but Nidal Reno, we can send feet out there. I just don't want Guardian to die. He's way too important for this team to die. I feel like half the time I don't even know what to talk about during these videos. I just kind of wing it, reiterate things. Over. And over, really? <laughs> uh, nice. It's probably like one health. Poisons me. I'm just glad it didn't get a crit, too. That'd have been like the ultimate douchebag move. So yeah, Kingdra is a temporary member of the team. Pretty much until we go to the Catch Articuna, there we go. Which brings me to a point, if you're watching the video, I have a question. Now, I want to catch Articuna and a seal. So it's like, I'm not going to use both. I'd only be using the seal. So per Nuzlocke rules, should I even catch both? I mean, I'm, I'm really confused on this. I don't want to do something that everybody views as, like, cheating. Let me check to see how much health he's got. Oh, he's got plenty. I don't want to, quote-unquote, cheat on my Nuzlocke. So, I mean, it's like, if people view that as cheating, I won't catch Articuno. But I kind of feel like it's required to catch the Legendaries when you're doing a Nuzlocke. I mean, at least all of them you can. 
if you're doing it as like a like platinum and you don't get Reggie Gigas. Oh well. He ain't worth it anyway. Such a stupid legendary. Anyway, so we're back in the gym. And we're gonna continue battling the gym trainers. Hopefully this guy's fighting types. And I think he's the last trainer. So we might have time to get there. Maybe get some of Victory Road done. Okay, good. He's got a mod choke. He probably won't be that hard to beat. I can't imagine him putting in much fight. And again, listening to the pounding, it's 7.30. What's going on down there? We'll leave him in because he did quite a bit of damage to the Machoke. And I have to imagine Machoke stats are higher than Machops. Unless I'm confused how the evolutionary family goes. Which it very well could be. I do get confused pretty easily. We're gonna bring in Billy Gal just to get some EXP. Takashi. I like got all the karate guys have like weird Jap well not weird, Japanese names. It's like really? Friends, I don't even know if they're Japanese names. I'm really not that certain. But, but yeah. The end of this Nuzlocke is fast approaching. For the first time, it feels like that. It feels like I could count on both of my hands how many parts is left. Which, technically, I think I can actually do. Being as... There's only... What is part 22? There's only 32 parts, so yeah. We'll lead with Meat Eater. Now, I do like Giovanni as the final gym leader, but at the same point, you've battled him, what, twice already? So it's like, what else can he really throw at you that you haven't already done? Or, I, I don't know, at least... I don't know, I, I feel like at this point, he's no match for you. Granted, I'm saying that now, he'll probably put up some hell of a fight. And I'm hating the fact that I said that. The Doug Trio shouldn't be an issue. It might be faster, but what's it going to use? Dig. I don't think I have any concern. Because it's a glass cannon. As I know now, because there's one on my team. Now the Nido Queen. That's, that's all Kingdra. I don't know if this is his ace or not. I think the Nido King is his ace. Now, the whole reason I switched out is because the Nito, well, the Nito families are also poison types. This concerns me a little bit. Okay, we're fine. They're poison types, so grass type moves aren't super effective. And especially with that earthquake, I don't know how well Victory Bell would have handled onto that. So, better safe than sorry. Now he's healed Nidoqueen, Nidoqueen, Nidoqueen twice now, which raises some questions. How many, how, I'm not going to be able to talk well at all in this video, am I? How many healing items does he have left? Now the poison point getting us, that sucked. But, it didn't get us sooner. Hopefully he has another pure ground type. Like a Marowak or something. Sand Slash, maybe? Send you Nido King now. I'm gonna send Billy Gal in to wall him momentarily. Just so we can get. What's his name? Back to 100%. I'm gonna use Confuse Ray, though, just to increase the odds that I can get both turns in if fully heal him. Then again, I could just use a full restore. I'll have more by the time I get to the Elite Four. Thrash. We're still fine. If 
full restore. Kendra's back good. And hopefully he hits himself. Or he can power through it again. That's nice. We're gonna send Kingdra in. And again, losing Kingdra isn't the worst thing that could happen right now. He's powered through the confusion three turns in a row. And now he used the full heal. Why did he wait three turns to use the full heal? Wow. Give me that neck. I definitely think that's going to be my catchphrase for a while. A Rhyhorn. We can just send Meat Eater out there to handle this biz. I think Rhyhorn is part rock, so Feet could have done this too. But um, I'm just going to play it safe and go for all out destruction with Razor Leaf. Because that's what you have to do in a Nuzlocke. You play it safe. If you play it safe, you don't lose your entire team. If you don't fast forward, you don't lose your whole team. Give me that Earth Badge. If you know what you're doing, and you know enough about Pokemon, you don't lose your whole team. As long as you don't lose your whole team, you're fine. TM26. In the part where I battled Blaine, I said 28 was Earthquake. I was wrong. So, the team is pretty much sorted, ready for going through Victory Road. I seem to remember this gym being more confusing than that. You get through like the whole gym battling one trainer. I guess I should stock up before I go. I know I have Ultra Balls already, so that's good. But I don't know about repels. I want to go in. No, in. That was genius of me. Really? Oh, well, we had 18 rebels. We should be fine. Then I know we have healing items. Let me just double check. We got max potion. We got two. We got... We got 24 healing items. We should be good. I really don't imagine... We're gonna have much difficulty doing this anyway. Being as I don't want to say the team's over leveled right now, but we're pretty well supplied. And I mean, Gary again? I'm sorry, Ash. I don't remember battling him again. He's gonna start with Pidgey Hot. He always does. Oh my god, he's at a high level, too. We're gonna go for the neck. Come on. Let's get that crit. No crit, but he doesn't have fly. So he's obviously not as good of a train as he would think. Doesn't matter if we can get a quick attack in there, yeah. And he's fine. Wow. Okay, a Rhyhorn. Well, we're gonna send King Drought there. Coke's at his Coke's at his grass type, I guess. I don't think there's going to be much problem in this battle. Yeah, the Rhyhorn wasn't really going to do anything anyway. And now Kingdra's level 48. Execute. We'll send Billy Gal out there. 
Execute has four times weakness against Bug. Like all types to be four times weak against. And I looked it up. Crobat can learn fly. Oh, we got a crit. Give me that neck. Two important battles in one part. Alakazam. And as I remember, we typically handle Alakazams by sending kick asses out there. And he goes ham by ripping them apart with his hyper fangs. That's been a really bad time to miss. Disable. See, he's not that smart. I gotta feel like a psychic would have killed kick asses. Same level. Psychic type. And Alakazam. I find it odd that like none of his team has evolved. Growlithe, Rhyhorn, Execute. I just think that's odd. Rock Slide. Probably should have used Dig, but... Oh, he hung on. But he flinched. Let's use Rock Slide again. I don't even think he's hit me yet, has he? Well, the Pidgeot did, but... That was me not being ready. Yeah. And then for the Blastoise, I guess Meat Eater's going out there. By now, I should have a Charizard. 53, my goodness. Razor Leaf should do a decent amount of damage, though. Rain Dance. NPCs in Pokemon games are so stupid. Yeah, this part might be like 35 minutes. It really sucks, because that means the next part's going to be even longer. I'm always trying to take that neck. 46 damage. If you would have been smart, he would have started by hitting me instead of making it rain. Because I don't care how many ones you throw at Meat Eater, he's just going to eat your meat. You were careless. Mm -hmm. I like how he says we need more practice. It's like we just stomped you. Like, really? Yeah, I got the boulder badge. Route 23. Is this a new route? Town map, I was already on it. It is a new route. So I get an encounter on this route, too. And I might as well heal up. Let me see if I got any smaller healing items. Cyber potions. I just want to make sure we don't lose because that would suck. And I should probably switch the order of my team. Put Billy Gal in the lead. Let me guess, I got the Cascade badge. Yep, play my little theme music. Let me go. I have the Thunder Badge, and I have the badge with the flowers on it, the Rainbow Badge. Kingdra, you surf. I have the Soul Badge, don't worry. I beat Koga. Barely, that was a good video when I battled Koga. A slow poke. I don't think Leech Life will kill it. But if it does, whatever. We already have like three water Pokemon in the box. Disable. We're gonna use Confuse Ray to hopefully damage him some more while he's confused. I guess I'll just enter Victory Road and then that'll be the end of this video. Being as it's already at like 30 minutes-ish. Yeah, let's throw a Master Ball at the Slowpoke. 
I really like Slowpoke. Now, I've never used a Slowpoke, but at the same point, it's in like... Right now, it's number two of Pokemon I'd want to use. Well, number... Yeah, number two. Incredibly slow and dopey. It takes five seconds for it to feel pain when under attack. Um... I hope I'm spelling this right. I'm gonna nickname it Savant. Oops, place in box. Box one. Yeah, I have the Marsh Badge. I have the Volcano Badge. As of two videos ago. the Earth Badge, as of this video. And we're officially in Victory Road. <sighs> this should make for an exciting next video. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, leave me a like, comment, I wouldn't say share, but subscribe though, for real, because this Nuzlocke is about to get really interesting. So, peace out, home skillets.